Hello everyone, I'm Kevin, otherwise known as ForumBX257, and I'm here to bring you another vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And today I'll be starting the series of 1985 vehicles that I didn't do during the overview. To begin with, the 1984 Toss and Cross Bridge Layer. And yes, I did say 1984. You see, this is a Canadian catalog, and in both uh, Canada and the U.S., Sears released the Toss and Cross in late 1984. It was available uh, in other retailers starting in 1985. And that's where I most collectors consider this a 1985 vehicle and not a late 1984 or simply a 1984 vehicle. The Sears version of the box, I believe, uh, does not differ from the 1985 version. As a matter of fact, I, I should think that the only difference between them is the catalog included with inside the box. And uh, the only way to know that is to open up the box. So that's a catch-22 that uh, I'm sure nobody with a mint in sealed box uh, version of this toy uh, wants to deal with. So, better off to leave this as a 1985 toy. The Toss and Cross came in a rather large box. Its price point was probably around the same as the Rattler or the Dragonfly, but not quite as high as maybe the Mulbat. And here it is, the bridge layer. It's a, uh, I would say, a moderately sized tank with the bridge laying mechanism right on top. It disconnects, but is jointed with this fork. And everything folds out rather nice and neatly. fork mechanism itself, you have to squeeze, fold it back, and now the tank can roll over its own bridge. As you can see, both halves of the bridge are equal, so no matter which side the forks are attached to, they can fold up and connect through these pegs onto the back pegs here for storage. Now the tank with its uh, forks folded up and clipped down onto these um, braces is um, it's a rather simple it's a rather simple uh, tank with uh, two cannons, which are asymmetrical by the way, but they are both the same cannon. There's no left or right. And they can swivel completely, and as you can see, they, they mm -hmm. pop off rather easily. But still, they click down, and they shouldn't rather uh, fall out. The tank treads are, well, fake, and of course we have the uh, trademark wheels underneath there. Unlike the uh, Wolverine, there's no detail on the bottom, so... Uh, it's just... Uh, free rolling. There's no panels or anything else. It, like I said, it's rather simple. But there are two seats, rather than just the one. The bridge halves themselves are connected by these ball jointed uh, hinges, which uh, of course are inherently very strong. It's a shame that Hasbro uh, didn't, um, didn't make ball jointed hinges on a lot of their toys, and uh, subsequently I happen to know that quite a lot of these uh, 
bridge layer bridges remain intact despite uh, any abuse. And just to show what kind of vehicles you could put on here, even something as wide as the uh, Mahler MBT can go on here. And something as narrow as the Silver Mirage can go right onto one of these side slats or in between. And this is Tollbooth, the driver, or rather a combat engineer. He comes with a big grey sledgehammer. One thing I've always been a bit curious about is the uh, this patch here indicates some uh, level of sergeant, and yet um, his file card indicates a specialist. And that was my review of the 1984 Sears exclusive, but not quite 1985 Toss and Cross. Hope that made some sense. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you next time with the next review.